aluminium hardtops, something that Kiwis love. We know them well. It's a, a genre that New Zealand has perfected, and none more so than Gisborne-based White Pointer boats. Hi, I'm Barry Thompson. Today we're looking at the White Pointer 870 walk-around. This is the very first walk-around that White Pointer have made, and it is exceptional. Let's have a look through, and I'll show you why. A testimony to White Pointer is this boat is so good as boat number one that it could easily be boat number 10. When the owner of this boat ordered it from White Pointer, it's just, it was on his third White Pointer, so he really knew what he wanted. And what he was after was a fishing boat, but with an accent on weekending and a bit of family boating, so it encompassed the whole lot. We've got two tuna tubes, we've got gates here, drop down ladders, but they drop right down in the water so they're great for divers coming back on board. And what this area here does around this gate gives you a safe area for fishing, especially you little kids. Nice flat area. Now even if you've got an outboard in the middle or twin outboards, there's still good sized platforms either side with the gate. So uh, it just really extends the whole size of the boat. I got either side, large lockers. Now these have covers on, that's optional. Love this. This is the a side wash, wash your hands, knee operated. Really nice wide side decks with U-deck on, Evolution 360 rod holders, and an optional pot hauler. This clips on so you can leave that at home if you don't want it. There's various bait station options. And in this boat we've got four rod holders, some sinker holders. You can actually extend this on with this your piece here that comes up so you get a really big area. The White Pointer 870 walk around is powered by a Volvo Penta D4320 with a new DPI drive. This gives the boat a top speed of around about 33 or 34 knots so it boogies along and it cruises comfortably anywhere between 22 to 28 knots just depending on the conditions. We drove it out off Gulf Harbour, fairly calm day, absolutely faultless, a beautiful boat to drive. If you're going to have a walk around, you might as well have a proper walk around. Feet beside each other, you don't stand on yourself. But another little detail that Y Pointer have in, see that? You can turn around. You're not tripping over your feet if you suddenly decide you want to go back. The ability of the walk around is to give you more space forward. We've got a nice sun pad here, good for sitting on, just fishing here. Now, if I suddenly got a big Trevon or a car wife and he went ballistic, I can walk right around the boat, so there's no sort of kind of climb over things. Got rod holders here to put things away as well, like this. Now, we've got a Minn Kota for you know, manoeuvring around in the tight spaces and just going quietly into the schools of fish. And under here, we've got a stress-free drum winch. So it's all very nice and clean and tidy. And while we're up for it here, I want to point out the windscreen. This comes off the White Pointer 700. One piece, no mullion, fantastic visibility, and one large wiper. It's a real good feature of the boat. The head of the engine, got this huge kill tank with a fish bin liner, and what I think is really cool, Cherokee hatch. So you just lift this up, makes it easy, you don't have to lift up the whole hatch. The helm position is nice and versatile, seated with a footrest, or bolstered up standing. Both positions are great for driving. Sliding side window, so you get plenty of air and ventilation in. The dashboard's got a 16 inch Veruno MFD, got the zip weight controls, and the Volvo Penta glass cockpit with link into the autopilot. So, and a stress free unit down here. Overhead, GME phone, and a couple of vented hatches. And what I like, see this one push, this is a real little trait of a white pointer, a one push button, one wipe of sweep. So it's just handy and added to that, it's got a tilt wheel. Okay, if you're gonna have a weekender, you want somewhere to sleep and what better than this? Good long berths, plenty of room, over two meters. Got an infill to turn into one big sleeping area. Got a toilet under here, overhead, ha opening hatch, good light, but also ventilation if you're in there at night. But I like the sitting headroom, so if you want to get out of the weather, sit here, read a book or whatever, 
you've got plenty of space for three or four people to sit. I had a chance to speak to the owner of the boat. As I said, it's his third white pointer. And while he hasn't done a lot of fishing yet, he's absolutely wrapped each time he's been out. He says it's exceeded his expectations. Well, I must say, I'm very impressed with White Pointer's first walk around. They really nailed it. There's nothing you'd want to change. The hull, six or eight mil hull, performs magnificently in the choppy water and the rough water. White Pointer have a reputation for blue water boats, impeccably finished, beautifully designed, and the new walk around is testimony to that. Thanks, White Point, it's a great boat.